when mathematician gets crazy episode one so i promise we are gonna have like really awesome videos in this series and this is the first one so we have integral from zero to one and that integral is their pi times and then dx1 dx2 d up to dx pi right okay at first look it doesn't really make sense what does it like even mean to have pi number of integrals right but don't worry guys we already have enough formulas that are like enough to destroy this integral yeah let me just give you the formulas and we go on destroying it doesn't really matter if it makes sense or not we're gonna do it okay so in my previous two videos i have derived two different formulas which i will also link in description right the formulas were uh, integral from 0 to 1 of integral from 0 to 1 f of x1 x2 the product up to xn and then dx1 dx2 up to dxn this integral there are n number of integrals this is a calls to integral from 0 to 1 f of u negative ln u to the power n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial du right Another formula that we derived earlier was that integral from 0 to 1 of ln to the power nx 1 minus ax dx was negative 1 to the power n gamma of n plus 1 by a li n plus 1 of a. So we'll be using these two formulas and if you do not know about gamma and uh, polylog function, I'll just give a short description. Gamma of n plus 1 is just n factorial, right? And then L i n of a is defined as the sum. Sum from k equals to 1 to infinity. And then uh, z to the power k by k to the power n. Yeah, this definition is enough right now. But you can search more about it yourself, okay? Okay, so let's see how we can distribute this integral. So first of all, uh, we can use uh, the formula, the first formula, right? And then the function over here is just one right in our case so yeah so if we use the first formula and in this case our function is just one and then dx1 up to dx pi this is pi times right and yeah our f is just one so that means in the other form our function will still be just one right and then we will have minus ln of u we will have pi minus one by pi minus 1 factorial right okay now i don't know what the fourth pi minus by factorial will be but yeah there is like integral definition of factorial that can be used to find pi minus 1 factorial okay so now this one simplifies to negative 1 to the power or pi minus 1 again i don't know what it means like negative 1 to the power pi but again we can actually find that because negative 1 is e to the power i pi right so times pi that's just e to the power i pi square so see like maths can be extended right hmm. now uh, this is by pi minus one factorial integral from zero to one and then u to the power pi minus one du right now again you can use the second formula uh, by making that a b zero so this can be written as uh, pi minus one factorial 0 to 1 ln u to the power pi minus 1 by 1 minus 0 x dx right now if we use the formula we get negative 1 to the power pi minus 1 by pi minus 1 factorial and this will be negative 1 to the power pi minus 1 gamma of pi minus 1 plus 1 is gamma pi by a okay in this case a is 0 but if we, if i write a as 0 that makes it undefined so i will actually write a limit limit a goes to 0 of li of uh, pi of a by a right okay so now over here we will have negative 1 to the power 2 pi negative 1 to the power minus 2 by gamma of uh, sorry pi minus 1 factorial is actually gamma of pi in gamma of pi that's nice even though we don't know the value now that's uh, like cancer like that's gonna cancel right and now uh, li pi of a as i told you earlier uh, would just be like a by uh, pi to the power one plus a square actually not a this will be actually be 
1 to the power pi a by 1 to the power pi plus a square by 2 to the power pi plus a cube by 3 to the power pi and so on right because th that's what we get from this definition right okay and then divide by a right and then now uh, this is just one because negative one square is one and the one to the power pi no matter what that's just one right negative one square is just one also and there's the reciprocal that's just one and this just cancels out so that's also one and then limit a goes to zero we have uh, 1 by 1 to the power pi plus a by 2 to the power pi plus a square by 3 to the power pi and so on right and then except the first term all of them actually go to zero right and then that's a pretty nice answer this one isn't that awesome like we start with something that doesn't even make sense right it doesn't make sense to take integral pi times right but with the formulas that we derived, actually those formulas were derived for n being a natural number, but we can just extend, we can just assume it holds true for anything, right? Because that's why what to do in math, because that's how we found fractional derivatives. We found like this, like factorial for real numbers and like, and all the things. So it doesn't mix, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We can just extend that. That's what we do. <laughs> okay. And yeah, by that, we just found it to be one. Yeah actually there's a pretty simple way like if, if if you accept this idea of extending the extending the domain there's pretty easy way as well actually what, what you could have done is we could have just first of all evaluated this integral n times right and then dx1 dx2 yeah and then wrote each of the integral by themselves right and we know that each of them are just going to be 1, 1, 1. So that's just 1, right? Now if it's 1 for n times, then now even if the n is e, even if the n is e or pi or pi times, it's still going to be 1, right? Yeah, because because if it's true for any n, then yeah, that's, that's just the answer. So this was a simpler way, but, but using the formula might also have given you some really good vibes right so that was it guys so this, this, these are some pretty cool applications of the formula we dropped in the previous videos i just wanted to make sure that we use these formulas no matter what so so this is a pretty interesting application guys so okay so just to summarize we had these two formulas and then we we so stored that the function is one and then we use the first formula and again we made that a to be zero and use the second formula and everything just need nicely cancelled out and we got the answer to be one so that was it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the like upcoming episode of when mathematician gets crazy <laughs>